What happens when an EMS ambulance breaks down or needs routine maintenance? Who does Sedgwick County call? Who you gonna call? They call Mark Kemper. Mark has worked for Sedgwick County since 2002, and he has the skills and the experience that keep EMS rolling 24-7. Like any other kind of fleet, in other words, they're, uh, they're very personal and the paramedics on the trucks take it personal. With around 28 ambulances in the EMS fleet, it takes someone who has a passion for these vehicles to keep them on the road. I didn't want to throw my life at something, you know, and I felt like it was a good cause. And besides that, there's a little bit of prestige when you work on an ambulance. Mark works with a great team of mechanics who not only support EMS, but other county departments as well. Just every person here is very, 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 very important. And, and even people in the head office like like Penny and Crystal. Since they have to roll at a moment's notice, these ambulances need specialized maintenance and attention each day. The common things on ambulances are our services. You have to make sure you keep up on your inspection. In fact, we find a lot of problems at inspection time, sometimes not just chassis problems or drivability problems. We also find problems like squad bench lids that are coming loose, or we find an electric system that's not working right. We find a siren that's not working, an air horn that's not working right. We find a refrigerator that's not down to temperature. With dedicated employees like Mark paying attention to the smallest details, Sedgwick County EMS knows who they are going to call to keep the fleet rolling. <laughs> who you gonna call?